Good evening and welcome to the BMC Derby High School at the Luke Urban Fieldhouse here on the Thomas Skip Karen Basketball Program. For this Game 1 event of the state tournament between the Brockton Boxers and your Derby Hilltoppers. We are pleased to welcome you this evening to Derby High School. Good sportsmanship is one of the primary goals of the Interscholastic Athletic Programs. Our student athletes recognize that judgment calls are made in good faith and that they must abide by the decisions of the officials. Spectators can support their Interscholastic Program by refraining from derogatory remarks or cheers. We hope that you will enjoy the game and that you will support all the participants in a positive, sportsmanlike manner. Now, let's meet the starting lineups. From the visiting Brockton Boxer, senior number 10, Demarge Taylor. Senior number 11, Karan Harris. Nice. Junior number 15, Abu Kaba. Senior number 24, Edenosa Ukanda. And junior number 25, Nabil Fabler. The Brockton Boxers are coached by head coach Robert Bowen, assisted by Kevin Rudy and Michael Ivanovich. Now for your Hilltopper. It's pretty good. Softball. Basketball fans of all ages, 
This is the Luke Urban Field House located on the campus of BMC Durfee High School. Yes, that's right, I said Durfee High School, where today it's the first round of the MIAA playoffs between your Brockton Boxers and the Hilltoppers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. Miles, let's give the fans some contest, uh, context as to what brings us down to Fall River today. Both of these teams come into the MIAA tournament at 10 and 10. Brockton beat this Hilltopper squad 2, to no, two and 0 oh during the regular season. Brockton won the division. Well, when you think about it, all that would say that Brockton should be at home at Staff Gymnasium today. If it was only Brockton and Durfee coming in at 10 and 10, they would be. Yes, exactly. I, I just think um, Brockton got the short end of the deal on this um, decision to have the game down here at Durfee High School. Uh, the MIAA's never been real kind to the um, boxers, so they'll just have to play it here in the hostile area. Well, the third team that ruined this all for Brockton was Wellesley. Wellesley came in at 10 and 10, forced a tiebreaker. When there's a tiebreaker in the MIAA, they put all three schools' names into a hat, and whoever comes out first is the higher seed, and that happened to be the Durfee Hilltoppers. So Brockton on the road against a team they beat twice during the regular season, beat the division over the Durfee Hilltoppers. And of course, these being big three divisional rivals, the games did get a little bit heated. Brockton was right there emotionally during both of these matchups, and head coach Bob Bowen did an excellent job of keeping the emotions in check as Chayton Nera, or rather Nick Salmon, is fouled. He'll be at the line for two shots. Both teams yet to score a field goal with 7.32 remaining in the first quarter. Yep, both teams look a little edgy right at the start of the game. Salmon good on his first attempt. 1-0 Hilltoppers. The foul on Abu Kaba. Brockton's starting five, much the same has been all season. Nabil Ferbler, Karan Harris, Demarje Taylor, Etinosa Kumbor, and Abu Kaba. The same starting lineup for the Hilltoppers that we saw at Staff Gymnasium. Nick Salmon, Chayton Nera, along with number 14, Joe Camara, Tyrone Watkins. And Brendan White, who comes up with the steal, Salmon in the corner, thought about the three, gives it over to number 22, Nilan Nera. Down low for number 30, his shot off the top of the backboard, brought down by Etinosa Akunbor. Yeah, good defense by the boxers right there. Made him take kind of a wild shot. Karan Harris with it now. Brockton is wearing their away all black jerseys. Worth mentioning that these two schools have the exact same color scheme. Brockton, they're away black jerseys, white stripe down the side of the shorts, red trim around the white numbers as Abu Kalba puts up a floater and that's good. Brockton up two to one over the Hilltoppers. That was a beautiful shot. He should have been, been uh, fouled on that play, but no call. Durfee on the other hand wearing their home white jerseys, a three for Kamara is good. Uh, that's Brendan White, junior guard, and Brockton's going to call a timeout. So anyway, Durfee wearing their home white jerseys with red trim around the black numbers. A little bit of confusion. Nabil Ferbler comes off the floor. Yeah, he, he got hurt. I think he might have caught a, a, a foot or, or, or something in his, um, in his um, most precious area. Well, the sharpshooter Precious Oko is on the floor as his replacement. He takes a three and that comes up short. Kron Harris tipping the rebound out. Now Harris driving baseline, kicks it out to Abu Kaba. Kaba working his way into the paint, gives it out to Demarge Taylor, who is called for the travel as Oko is about to fire up a three. And Demil Ferbler on the Brockton bench walking Very gingerly. a little bit gingerly. Nick Salmon pump fake for three, spinning into the paint. His floater no good. Precious Oko with the rebound. He gives it over to Demarge Taylor. Taylor to Harris, back to Taylor. Over to Oko, back to Taylor. Harris now for Kaba. Kaba pump fake, driving baseline, loses it out of bounds off of Durfee. Brockton retains possession. 
Five and a half left to go in the first period. 17 on the shot clock for the boxers. Yeah, right, box is still a little, looks a little tentative. Durfee is playing some good defense. Kaba driving inside off the glass, no good. The tip. Ooh, nice. I, I think that's number ET. 24. ET yeah, ET. He got his hands on it and tipped it right back up and in. So Brockton it up. Uh, Brockton tied rather, four to four. Nick Salmon driving inside now. He puts one up off the back of the rim. ET with the rebound for Brockton. Yeah, Brockton's doing a good job when Durfee drives to the basket. They're really making Durfee work and it's um, throwing off their shot. Kaba thought about the three, gives it to Karan Harris. Harris to Taylor. Taylor strong over for Harris, who receives the overhead pass. Taylor for three, it looks good, and Ooh, it is. Good ball movement by the boxes. Taylor was ready for that pass. Took the shot and hit it. Chayton Nera now, the senior captain. Over to Brendan White, spinning, and he's called for the travel. It'll go back in favor of the boxers. Yeah, again, again, good defense by the boxers. Very busy week for Brockton Boxers Athletics. We'll give you the rundown a little bit later on, but it's all MIAA tournament related. So stay tuned for what the week has in store. For the traveling show. Taylor to Oko, Oko back to Taylor. Four on the shot clock, Taylor for another three. This one goes wide and the shouts of air ball coming from the very large Durfee fan section. Yeah, very boisterous this evening. I'm sure they'll, they'll have a lot to say throughout this basketball game. Should be exciting. Seven to four, boxers on top halfway through the first quarter. Nick Salmon out to number 22, Nillen Nero, who fouled out of the last matchup between these two teams. His shot no good, pressures Oko to Taylor, to Harris, back to Taylor. Oko for three is no good off the back of the rim. Brought down by Joe Camara. Camara strong in. Loses it on his way up to Marjay Taylor. Going to be called for the hold. It looked a little bit soft to me, but yeah. I'm not wearing the stripes. No, no, it, it, it was a good foul by Taylor if, if it was a foul because it prevented the um, easy two. He'll have to earn him, earn him on the free throw line. Very interesting setup here at Luke Urban Fieldhouse. Just looking at the hoop, it's about two feet in front of the baseline. There's a yep. lot of room underneath the hoop. As going two for two was Kamara. Seven to six, Brockton on top, three and a half to go in the first quarter. Karan Harris looking for somewhere to go with it. He finds Demarge Taylor back to Harris. Back to Taylor. Brockton certainly taking their time on offensive possessions. Not necessarily a bad thing. Precious Oko to Kaba down low. He puts it up. No good. E.T. tipping the rebound. Karan Harris comes down with it. E.T. down low. Fouled on his way up and he will be at the line for two shots. Nice, nice job Brockton up on the boards. Getting their rebound on the shot. Getting a second attempt at the basket. Rewarded with a free throw. Brockton with three subs. Tijan, Glenn Darty, Tariq Yaya, and Sonny Oak and Lola. Karan Harris and Abu Kaba come out of the game. And Glenn Darty will replace Etanosa Akumbor as soon as he now, now makes or breaks this free throw. Brockton, shot. Brockton needs the bench to be productive when they get out there as well as play good defense. Nilanera down low for uh, Kamara, his three no good. Looked like it went out of bounds, yeah, but sure like did. I said, it, there's a lot of room underneath the hoop between that and the baseline. Chayton there all the way in off the glass, no good. Sonny Oak and Lola able to tip the rebound to Demarge Taylor. Brockton looking for the give and go with Tariq Yaya, no good. Now number 30 all the way in, had enough spin on it. Wow, a lot of bodies on the floor, Mad Dog. Up and down the court they go, Precious Oko slowing things down over to Taylor. 
Taylor back to Oko, back to Taylor, down low for Okinola. Taylor for three is no good. Yayo is yeah, he, a half second in front of the rebound. Exactly, he just missed time that uh, rebound attempt. Kamara for three is good. And Durfee has the lead, nine to seven with two minutes to go. You're having a little bit of trouble hearing us <laughs> yeah, because wow. this gym is pretty electric. It sounds like the announcer for the Boston Celtics at the Garden is here. Well, I tell you, I'm looking up in the Raptors, Matt, and there's some really nice speakers up there. Matter of fact, I see, I see three at one end of the basket, three at the other end, so they got a lot of, lot of noise to make here, or a lot of noise they're making, including the announcer. Tashawn loops into the game for the Hilltoppers along with Tejon Glenn Darty for the Boxers. Etanosa Kumbor getting a breather on the bench. Nilan Nero to his brother Chayton. Chayton takes about 15 steps with the ball. Yeah, I, and he I draws the foul somehow miraculously. I thought he traveled before the foul. Another break for the Durfee Hilltoppers. You, you can see um, both refs are discussing it. Let's see what happens. He did. There we go. They're going to call it the travel. Durfee's head coach a little bit upset with that call, but hey, it is what it, it is. is. There's what like it is. 15 cameras in this gym right now, so I'm sure replay is not out of the question should they want to go back and look at it. 9-7, to seven, Durfee on top. A minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Tariq Yaya over to Demarge Taylor. Plenty of space back to Yaya. Marcus Azor getting ready to come into the game for Brockton. Oko for three is good. We, Brockton needs him to make those shots out there to um, keep the defense honest. They're going to have to come out there and defend that if he keeps hitting it. Brockton back with the lead, 10 to 9. A one point edge for the men in black. Nick Salmon all the way in his short floater. He's good. Yeah, that was a, a break right there of Durfee. He kind of lost it with the good defense, but it came right back to him. Took advantage and made the shot. Yeah, yeah, has overhead pass complete to Demarge Taylor. Oko, a rainbow three. This one no good. Brought down by Tejon Lopes. The sophomore guard getting some playoff action. Chayton Nera out to Lopes. He takes a long three. No good. Oak and Lola coming down with the rebound. About a half second difference between shot clock and game clock. I'm sure Brockton is going to hold on for the majority of the 20 seconds that's left. Demarge Taylor dribbling it, backing up, right in front of the Durfee fan section. Hearing the loud cheers from, seems like the 200 students behind him. Eight seconds over to Tariq Yaya, back to Taylor. Taylor now driving inside, loses it, picked up by Glenn Darty. He goes up and down, the buzzer sounds. Brockton unable to get a shot off. And into the first break, Durfee comes out with an 11 to 10 lead, a very competitive first quarter, Miles. Yeah, well, it seems like both teams a little tentative in that first quarter, but um, by the low score. So I'm sure that they'll get, they, you can see that last couple minutes, they were getting a little bit more feel for the game and everything. I look for a very productive sec, uh, second quarter game by both teams. Well, 11 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second quarter action right after this. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming. We're going biking. Yeah. I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey. I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. 
Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Welcome back into the Luke Allen Fieldhouse here on the campus of BMC Durfee High School. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson, in this first round matchup of the MIAA playoffs between the Durfee Hilltoppers and your Brockton Boxers. Durfee coming in with an 11 to 10 lead and a steal right off the bat for the Hilltoppers into the second quarter. Nick Salmon with it. Salmon stops and pops for two off the front of the rim, no good. Glenn Darty for the Boxers with an uncontested rebound. Right now the Boxers are controlling both ends of the boards. They just gotta continue that good production there on the boards. Marcus Azor fresh into the game. Whistle stoppage. And arm bar. Yeah, Durfee's, Durfee's playing real physical on offense as well as defense. Neelan Nera getting into the foul column. And now a foul against the Brockton foul Boxers. Sonny Oak and Lola called for the push. His first, team third. Not a lot of fouls thus far in this game. Three against the Boxers, two against the Hilltoppers. Much was not the case when we saw these two teams in action at Staff Gymnasium. In fact, Nilan Nera by himself had five fouls. Oh, that's like a travel. Nick Salmon making the same move, stopping and popping for two in and out. Tariq Yaya coming down with the rebound. He quickly gives it over to Marcus Azor. Azor to Yaya as the sharpshooter Marcino Louis Charles getting ready to come into the game. Glenn Darty is called for the travel. Louis Charles replaces Tariq Yaya. Yeah, the announcer got that wrong. That was double dribble. Checking for the boxers, number 22, Marcin Louis Charles. So two sharpshooters, Precious Soko and Marcino Louis Charles. On the floor for the boxers as head coach Bob Bowen looks to build a lead against the Hilltoppers. Tyshawn Lopes off the rim, no good. Chayton Nara starting and stopping. Takes four steps with it. Yes, I counted. <laughs> off the backboard, no good. Azor floating it for Oko. Oko is fouled on his way in. Rather, that was Louis Charles. Yeah, nice quick pass by Azor to the driving man. Forced a foul. Foul on Durfee's number two, his second, team third. Third foul against the Hilltoppers, inbounding foul. Precious Oko sending it in for Oak and Lola over to Azor. Azor thought about the three, now drives inside, puts up a floater off the back of the rim, no good. Glenn Darty easily with the rebound. Louis Charles for three, a little bit too long. And Durfee comes down with it. This is Joe Camara. Kamara to Chayton Nara to Nick Salmon. Salmon back to Chayton over to his brother Nealon. Back to Kamara. Kamara driving inside. Finds the hole off the glass and in. Yeah, that was a breakdown on defense by number 35 for the boxes. Oko for a long two, no good. It's going to be out of bounds off of the Brockton boxers. And again, number 30. Airball the chance from the Durfee crowd. Brendan White coming in. Abu Kaba back into the game for the Boxers. Five fifty-two to go in the second quarter. Thirteen to ten in favor of the Hilltoppers. Nilan Nara for three. Too long. Abu Kaba receives the pass. Azor up to Oko. Oko driving baseline, stops, pops, floater, no good. Neil and Nara with the rebound. Yeah, he, he misjudged that shot there. That should be a charge. charge. Good, good. That is a charge as Azor planted his feet, that protected was, his jewels, and went down. Exactly. That was a beautiful play by a beautiful defensive play by Azor. He's going to come on out. Nice job while he was in there. The game for the Demarge Taylor back in, and number 13, Jerice Harris, replaces Precious Oko, who 
has been a little bit cold from beyond the arc tonight. Not unusual. But we've seen it. It only takes one big shot for Oko to come down and Jerese Harris nailing a three from deep in the corner. All back tied up at 13 apiece. 5-10 left to go in the second quarter. Yeah, that was a nice shot by Harris. Kamara in for White who loses it and makes a circus move trying to draw the foul. The refs don't fall for it. Abu Kawa throwing it in, received by White. Nick Salmon picking up the loose ball. Salmon working his way in, goes up and down. Nice call by the referee. And it's gonna be an offensive. Nick Salmon's like, what did they do? I believe he's, he said he traveled. Looked like it. Yeah, it looked like he traveled. Of course, the difference between playoffs and regular season in the MIAA is, of course, there's three officials on the floor, something that I like. Nice and job there. Two of them calling a foul. Tejon Glendardi will be at the line for two shots. That was a nice job by Tejon. Got the ball, went right up with the shot, and got body on him. Got some body contact. Durfee's starting to get into a little bit of foul trouble. That is five against the Hilltoppers. Of course, two more. Brockton will be in a shooting situation no matter where the foul occurs. Glendardi missing his first. And looking to give the boxers a one point edge here is Tejon Glendardi. Good on his second attempt. Etanosa Kunbor replaces Glenn Darty. 14 to 13, boxers on top. 4.32 to go in the first half. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside Big Game Miles Jackson. Coming to you from all the way down Route 24. Beautiful Fall River, Massachusetts. Nick Salmon working against Marcel Louis Charles. Kamara back to Salmon. Brennan White calling for it. Salmon's going to take it himself. He airballs it. And Tenosa Kumbor coming down with the loose ball. Demarje Taylor to Harris, who can't handle it. Out of bounds off of the boxer. Yeah, a little, little miscommunication right there between passer and receiver. Brockton with quite a number of turnovers in, early on in this first half. Nick Salmon thought the better of giving it to Brendan White, who would have been intercepted by Demarge Taylor. Now he finds White, driving inside. White goes down. Uh, and really, White, like he, he was out of control. Over his own feet. Yeah, he was out of control, but they're gonna call a foul. Demarge Taylor called for the trip. Azor will go in to replace Taylor. Bob Bowen immediately requested an explanation from the officials, and rightly so. 14 to 13, Brockton on top as this inbound pass sent a little bit too high and wide. Now, that was good defensive inbound by the boxes. Azor over to Louis Charles to Harris, stop and pop three off the back of the rim. White comes down with the rebound for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Three and a half to go in the second quarter. Okay, Harris not shy about throwing up the three. Foul the boxers, number 22, his first, team fifth. Karan Harris comes into the game, replaces Louis Charles. Check that, Karan Harris. Brendan White looking for Tyshawn Lopes, finds Nick Salmon. He puts up a shot, no good. Throws the rebound back to Lopes. In for Neelan Nera. This one tapped over to Kamara. Good back job, the boxes keeping their hands up. Nick Salmon off the glass, no good. Loose ball picked up by Abu Kaba. He sends it long for Jerese Harris. 
shortly out of bounds. Miles, I don't know whether it's the angle we're sitting at, we're in the corner next to the Brockton bench or what, but this court seems very wide and not very long. Yeah, it's, it's very wide, but it's just the angle where we're sitting at. And the fact that it's a bit deeper depth perception for the boxers down here playing Durfee. They're used to it. Brockton's trying to adjust. Salmon on one end throwing the ball into Abu Kaba's left arm. Abu Kaba on the other end going up foul. Joe Kamara called for the hit. To the for the Tough break for Abu Kaba that just rolled off the rim. Could have had an end one. And Abu Kaba, a very good free throw shooter. Hits his first attempt to give the boxers a two point edge. Precious Oko into the game. Checked in a little bit too early. Jerry's Harris will take a breather on the bench. Two, two at the line was Abu Kaba. 16 to 13, a three point edge for the Brockton boxers. Nick Salmon hands off to Kamara. Kamara working his way inside, spins, gives it out to Nealon there for three off the back of the rim. Brandon White uncontested rebound at the charity stripe. Oko comes down with his rebound to Marcus Azor. Trying to spread the lead a little bit. Atanosa Kumbor out to Azor to Oko. Back to E.T. And a charge called against E.T. Good, de good defense right there. Tiny bit of acting, but it was good defense. His first, team six. An errant horn from the scorer's table as the ball is in play. They say play on, so two seconds wasted off the shot clock for that. Two minutes to go in the second quarter. Kamara for three in the tie is good. 16 apiece with 155 to go. Karan Harris, a rainbow wow. three, no good. Nealon there on contested rebound. Tejan Lopes on the other end to number 21, stop and pop two, no good. Nick Salmon flies out of nowhere to grab this rebound, gives it over to Gabe de Oliveira, and he hits a three, and the Hilltoppers have the lead once again. 19 to 16 in a very loud Durfee High School gym at Tenosa Kungor, fouled by De Oliveira, who just hit a big three. Foul on Durfee's number 21. On the other His end to give the Hilltoppers the lead. Hilltoppers starting to warm up here late in the second uh, quarter for the Hilltoppers has regained the lead. Well, 17 fouls against the Hilltoppers. You know what that means. Brockton in a one and one shooting situation for the rest of the minute and 15 seconds in this first half. Nick Salmon to Kamara. He holds up. And Akumbor will be called for yet another foul. Uh, Abu Kawa uh, called for the hold. Number 15. His second, team seven. Oken Lolo will come in to replace Kaba. Kamara misses his one attempt. Both teams now in a one and one shooting situation. Oko out to Azor. Azor two handed over to Abu Kaba. Kaba to ET down low. Has it pushed out of his hand and carries it out of bounds. Now the mistake ET made right there. Beautiful pass to him. He should just put it right up. He bounced it off the ground. Once you bounce a big man, you bounce it underneath the basket. There's always a chance for somebody to come and knock it away. And that's what happened. He should just put it right up. Under a minute to go now. 57.7. 19 to 16. Hilltoppers on top. Neelan Nara gives it over to Tajon Lopes. Leaves it behind for Nick Salmon. Salmon to De Oliveira. Salmon for three is no good. Okanola grabbing the rebound between two Hilltoppers. He quickly gives it to Marcus Azor. Oko for three and the tie is good. Nice shot by Oko. Brockton needed that. 
19 to 19, shot clock is off. 22 seconds to go in the first half. Durfee holding on for last shot, trying to take a lead into the half. Neil and Nero over to Brendan Carvalho. Carvalho to Lopes, a short two, no good. Oko with the rebound, loses it to number 21. The buzzer sounds, Durfee unable to get a, off a shot. We head into the break. All knotted up, 19 to 19. Not the highest scoring of games, not the most perfectly played of games, but Miles, a very competitive game, and we've got 16 minutes of even played basketball to determine who goes home early. Exactly, and two things Brockton has to do when they come back out here in the second half. One thing is cut down on the turnovers. Way too many turnovers in, that, in those first two quarters. The other thing they have to do in the second half, continue in dominating the boards, offensively as well as defensively. 19 to 19, headed into the half. The Durfee Hilltoppers and the Brockton Boxers in this first round of the MIAA playoffs. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mo will talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused. Fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key? is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. OK, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming. We're going biking. Yeah. I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. Great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in, because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls basketball fans of all ages, welcome back in to the Luke Allen Fieldhouse here on the campus of BMC Durfee High School for today's first round MIAA South sectional playoff matchup between your Brockton Boxers and the Durfee Hilltoppers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog, Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner, big game Miles Jackson here on the road, BCA traveling all the way down Route 24 to bring you this game. Both teams coming in at 10 and 10, but due to the very technologically adept tie-breaking process in the MIAA. Durfee's name was the one on the paper that came out of the hat first. So they get to host the home game. Durfee, it's Brendan White, hits a three. 22 to 19 is the score coming into this half. Durfee wearing their home white jerseys with red trim around the black numbers. Brock in their away black jerseys with red trim around the white numbers. Etanosa Kumbor called for the travel. Again, Kumbor shouldn't have put the, he puts the ball on the floor when he should just go right up with it. Golden opportunity wasted right there by the boxes. Chayton Nero over to White. Very, uh, we'll call it interesting first half. 19 to 19 was the score at the end of the first half. A lot of turnovers. A lot of rebounds for the Brockton Boxers and not a lot of points. A lot of missed shots. ETL to Abu Kaba. Kaba pump fakes. Looks for Echinose Kumbor. Instead finds Brennan White. Yet another turnover. Kudos to the Mad Dog research team. 
Headed up tonight by the one and the only Mike the Postman Simmons. Nil and Nair all the way in. His layup no good. Brought down by his brother Chayton. Chain to Joe Camara. Nick Salmon for three is no good. Out of bounds off of Durfee. Anyway, the Mad Dog Research Team headed up by the one, the only Mike the Postman Simmons with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brocken. Has told us that this court is named the Thomas Skip Karam Basketball Court in the Luke Allen Fieldhouse on the campus of BMC Durfee High School. All the memories of football season over at the Armand Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Nick Sand flying in, misses the layup. Kamara under the basket, turns it over to Abu Kaba. Kaba loses it, picks it up, stops, pops. Oh, two is good. that was pretty. He had trouble getting it down the court, but he kept his cool. Kind of flipped it up there, went in softly, quieted the crowd down a little bit. Nick Salmon all the way in, lays it up and in. Salmon doing, Salmon doing a good job there, moving without the basketball towards the um, basket. Of course, Nick Salmon, the starting quarterback of the Hilltoppers football team. You know what? Now, that doesn't surprise me because I noticed he, he likes to use his body and his elbow when he drives to the basket. Very physical basketball player when he's out there with the basketball. Precious Oko, the sharpshooter in for DeVille Furbler. 24-21, 5.20 left to go in the third quarter. Chayton Nera with the ball now. Of course, the starting running back of the Hilltoppers football team. Salmon, wide open path to the basket. He hits the rim. Was fouled? Yeah. It's tough to see from this angle because we're at the other end of the court, but it looked like there was some body contact, possibly. I'll give the refs a benefit of the doubt on that call. Very aggressive move by the uh, the guard there. Well, excuse me, the forward and captain, Nick Salmon. The first thought, I thought he was going to be called for hanging on to the rim, which, of course, is a technical foul. Salmon 2 of 2 at the line, 26 21, 5 point edge for the Hilltoppers. Demarge Taylor, Abu Kaba, back to Taylor. Down to Oko, quick three in the corner is no good. Kaba getting the rebound, has it slapped out of his hands by Joe Kamara. Loose ball, scrum on the floor. It's rolling around, picked up by Abu Kaba. We're going to have a foul. Called on Chayton Nera. Yeah, I think they'll call that on number 22. Um, You're right. Two, Good hustle by the boxes. Taylor over to Karan Harris. Harris to E.T. out to Taylor. Taylor driving inside. Wild layup. Hits the side of the rim. No good. Nealon there gives it to his brother Chayton. Four and a half to go in the third quarter of this game, getting uglier by the second. Nick Salmon all the way in. Oh, come on! And Harris is called for the block, or the hit rather. That looked like all ball to me. Foul on Brockton, number 24. His third, team third. Nick Salmon to the line, shooting two. Glenn Darty will come in and replace Setanosa Kumbor. Nick Salmon hits his first attempt. Now Glenn Darty's coming in. Glenn Darty's got to make a presence out there for the boxes. Salmon 2-2 two two now, 4-4 four four in the half from the charity stripe. Demarge Taylor. Put the boxes down by seven. Oko back to Taylor. Taylor back to Oko for three. It's good. Nice shot by Oko. One would hope that that's the shot that Oko needed. Right, right to get him going in this uh, second second half. Salmon out to Chayton. Chayton down low for Nealon off the glass. And in. Yeah, that was just a breakdown of defense there. Somebody didn't get them in.
Oko to Taylor. Taylor working his way inside. Followed by Shaden Nara, who says my feet were planted. Two of the three officials disagree. Yeah, nice drive by Taylor. A little wild shot, but it worked for him. Somebody got him on the arm. And right now, we're, we're in the second half, third quarter. Foul, again, I'll say it again, foul shots are critical. Especially if you're behind by six. Taylor, one of two at the line. 30 to 25 to score. Durfee on top with three and a half to go in the third quarter. Kamara give and go with Nealon Nero. Nealon hard across for Brendan White for three is good. You know you think he hit the winning shot. Someone get this guy a professional <laughs> audition. Shaden hitting this one out of bounds. So Brockton with an inbound right in front of their bench. You always seem to get in the action there, Matt. Always. It always finds us. Always finds us, yes. Taylor to Oko, back to Taylor. Looking for Oko, finds Kron Harris. Harris being pestered to Oko for three is good. There we go. He's heating up. Doing a good job moving without the basketball. If he's not open, if he's covered on one corner of the basket, he'll go to the other side. Durfee having some issues getting it up the floor. White for another three, no good. Glenn Darty ripping down the rebound one-handed. Precious Oko with it. Stopping and popping from the charity stripe. No good. Glenn Darty. Nice, nice, point. nice. Bang. Count it for Tejon Glenn Darty. 33 to 30. And a timeout called by the head coach of the Durfee Hilltoppers, Jameson Guimon. That was a nice job by Glenn Darty. Go up for the offensive boards without banging. Went up with his height, grabbed the ball, and nicely put it back up the glass and in. 2.28 to go in the third quarter, 33 to 30, Durfee on top. But Precious Oko and the Brockton Boxers have heated up in the last couple of minutes after what was a very ugly first half. We're stepping into the gym at the moment, the former superintendent of Brockton Public Schools and then the Secretary of Education for Massachusetts, and now the Superintendent of the Fall River Public Schools, Dr. Matthew Malone. Of course, chatting up all of his old buddies, Tom Kenny, and Tom Pileski, both in the house, former athletic directors of Brockton, along with now the see, current athletic director, see, Kevin Caro. I can go back further with Tom Pileski. When I was at Brockton I, he was the um, he was a gym teacher and a tennis coach. Neil and Nara losing it out of bounds off of Demarge Taylor. And he was just a young fella back then. That was in the 1970. I'm class of 74. You've got just a few years on me. <laughs> of course, I was part of the greatest class in Brockton High School history. <laughs> oh, really? 2011, Neelan Nair for three, no good. Brendan White tapping the rebounds, out of bounds, off of Precious Oko, Durfee. I tell you, it looked like number 30 for the um, Hilltoppers went over the back. Thought it should have been a whistle, but no call. Chayton Nair, quick three, air balls it. Sonny Oak and Lola, contested rebound. Two minutes to go in the third quarter, 33-30. Low scoring affair here at the Luke Allen Fieldhouse. Kamaji Taylor working his way inbound, jumps, throws it to Karan Harris. Harris goes between the legs looking for Glenn Darty, taken by Brendan White. Over to Neal in there off the glass, no good. Oh, that was a beautiful sh sh um, block shot right there. I couldn't see who blocked it, but he went sky high for that one. Marjay Taylor getting some direction from the coach. 
Sonny Okalola cheating there, getting into a shoving match. Shoko misses the three. Nice shot. Nice and shot. one for the big man, Sonny Okalola, who will be at the line for the boxers' first and one of the day. Yeah, nice job by Okalola to, to um, set his spot there for the rebound. He was kind of directing traffic a little bit, trying to let the guards know where to go with the ball. And he'll get up there and try a three-point play. Cut this Plus lead to some, two. Some confusion. As they did not count the bucket. Okay, now they did. Now, there it is. So Okinola missing his one free throw attempt. Foul called on Gabe de Oliveira. Brockton now working the full court press. Tajon Lopes up to Nick Salmon. Salmon all the way in, down low for Neil and they're uh, off the glass and in. Oko stopping and popping for Bang. three. And we have a tie ball game, 35 to 35. Brendan White for Durfee, can't do nothing with him. Oko's got that quick release yes. and he's shown it off. Yes, he does. Increasingly so in the second half. Joe Camara drawing the block against Tijan Glendarney. 40.7 to go in the third quarter, all tied up, 35 to 35. Salmon down low, windmill no good. Oko comes down with the rebound. All the way in, off the glass and in. And Brockton has the lead once again. Yeah, Oko's doing it all, outside as well as inside. Nice drive by the boxer. Neil and Nero, one touch pass, caught it in midair and threw it in midair to Brendan White, who was followed by Glenn Darty. And he'll be at the line. Yeah, I think that's shots. his second foul. This is third. Shot clock off, 19.6 to go. Brendan White at the line trying to make this a tie game yet again. Will not do so as he misses his first attempt. You know, this, this um, Hilltopper team, most of these guys have been out there most of this game. I, I wonder how much gas they got left in that fourth quarter. It got left in that tank for the fourth quarter. Oko calling for the ball with 10 seconds left. Demarjay Taylor finds Oko. Oko for a three beyond the baseline off the back of the rim. Tipped back up by Oko. Uh, yeah. Sonny Okinola who's called for an over the back and he doesn't know what he did. Going to be a push against Okinola. 4.9 to go. Team seven. Neil and Nera at the line, of course, that is the seventh foul against the boxers. One on one situation for the entirety of the fourth quarter for the Durfee Hilltoppers. Only down one point to the Brockton boxers in the first round of the semi double A playoffs. All tied up, Neil and Nera off the back of the rim, had enough spin on it. And it went straight up and back down. Neil and Nair for the lead is no good. Louis Charles with the rebound. Taylor can't keep it in bounds. And Durkee has a shot to take the lead with 2.4 left in the third quarter. Brockton, again, they got to um, avoid the turnovers, unnecessary turnovers. The clock's not moving. They're going to. Call the third quarter? Wow. Nick Salmon received the inbound pass, put up a quick shot. The clock was not moving, so the officials decided, well, oh, yeah, that was close enough to 2.4 seconds, so why not they call the third quarter off? And once again, we're all tied up, 37 to 37 miles. Brockton a little bit better in that third quarter than they were in the first half. What do they need to do to keep the foot on the gas and really accelerate? Well, they're doing a good job with the boards defensively, defensively as well as offensively. Problem still is too many turnovers. They've got to cut down on turnovers here in this fourth quarter. They can ill afford turnovers because that's what's 